field for tonight's fourth race coming out onto the track. Sponsored by Brittany Farms, no show wagering, 19,200 Tompkin gear stakes. Three-row trotting Colts and Gelding, second division in the Max Hemp and Roger Hammer, Glenn Wenzel and Dan Mock entry, and Roger Stambaugh is another co-owner. Number one is Keystone Seminole, driven by Charlie Norris. Entry made is Keystone Nordic and Roger Hammer. Number two is Vaporize, owned by Jack Mulligan, Ralph Conley, Jim Sprow, and Chip Noble, driven by Chip Noble. Three, Halo in Orbit, owned by Ruby Hostetler, driven by Charlie Myrick. Four will be next, BJ's Super Sun, leased by Robert Key and John Glessman with Jeff Fout. And the five is Kaz Hanover, owned by Thomas Erickson, Dick Richardson Jr. will be in the sulky. Fourth race, Trotters, six minutes till post, no show betting, no changes post for each horse alongside the driver's name. Starting gate is underway for the fourth. Field moves in behind starter John Betts. The entry of Keystone Seminole, Charlie Norris and Keystone Nordic and Roger Hammer. Vaporize and Chip Noble. Charlie Myrick, who set a track record last night with flowing Jody and the three-year-old Philly Trot, will be up on... Halo in orbit, number four, BJ Superson, Jeff Fout, five, Kaz Hanover, and Dick Richardson, Jr. Six go to the gate, five betting interest, $19,200 trot as Grand Circuit Week continues. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Keystone Nordic on the far outside. Off stride after the start. Halo in orbit. They're down the back stretch. The entry is 1 3 in the favorite. Splits them. Vaporized to the turn. After that, BJ Super Sun Kaz Hanover far back. Halo in orbit. On their way to the quarter mile pole. Keystone Nordic skiing right along with a two length advantage. Continues to lead. They open up here. 28. Seconds flat, trotting past the stands. Here comes Vaporize to the outside. Vaporize on the outside of Keystone Nordic. Gap of three to the other half of the entry, Keystone Seminole. Followed by BJ Super Sun. Around the clubhouse turn, Kaz Hanover. And at the end, the trailer is Halo in orbit. This is a total mission right how. Roger Hammer looking over and doesn't see anybody out there. Reaching the half mile pole in 56 and one. Speeding down the backstretch, Keystone Nordic, Vaporize, comes off the pace now, drops in there second, he'll try to get a breather as they head to the final quarter. A gap of about eight lengths to Keystone Seminole, BJ Super Sun, Kaz Hanover and Halo in orbit as they move into three quarters. Keystone Nordic trying to take this field cross country, now begins to open up a commanding lead in an unbelievable 125 and three. Around the far turn, Keystone Nordic on top by six. Here comes the other half of the entry up on the outside. Vaporize dropping back along the rail. Kaz Hanover to the outside of BJ Super Sun. Halo in orbit is still the trailer. Could be a 1A and 1 Fiesta trotting through the stretch. Keystone Nordic in the only battle is for second. His entry mate's going to get that one. Keystone Nordic, Keystone Seminole. Vaporize will finish third. Huge mile there, 1A Keystone Nordic. Three-year-old Bay Cope by Balanced Image out of Elena Hanover. Owned by Roger Hammer, Glenn Wenzel, Roger Stambaugh, and Dan Mock, all of Pennsylvania. Driven and trained coast to coast by Roger Hammer. Covering that mile in 156 and three and a lifetime best. Number 1A, Keystone Nordic, the unofficial winner. Representing Brittany Farms in the winner's circle once again, Gene Regal, Hall of Famer, probably his grandson down there also. Gene Regal for tonight's fourth race, Brittany Farms trophy presentation. Windows are now up and on the fifth. Scratch number eight, it's showtime. Scratch the eight. 19,000 plus in tonight's twin trifecta carryover. Seventh race, scratch seven, keep on trucking Sam. One, two, exacta, $15 even.